Hi everybody. Okay, today I wanted to run through a pretty basic question, um, and that is, what is Trello? So this is a piece of software that you may have come across on your travels around the internet. Perhaps you saw an ad, or just somebody mentioned it to you, or someone has sent you a link to a Trello board, um, and you want to know a little bit more about just the basics and what is this thing? What is Trello? So I'm just going to run through that quickly today. So this is the, the Trello website. Um, there's a bunch of information on here. I'd recommend checking it out. And just to give you a, a feel for the kind of things you have here. OK, so once you've created an account and got going, uh, you can go to your boards. So if I click on this, it will open up your boards. and. These are kind of like workspaces almost, um, or each of these teams are like workspaces, let's say, and each of the boards within that are like different projects, different um, collections of tasks, and it's a great way of keeping on track of all of these items. So if I open up one of these, I'll just open up, this is a demo board here. We can see that there's a bunch of information uh, these boxes here are called cards, and they are arranged in these list formats. So we've got to do, doing, and done. And this is designed to lay out a, a typical workflow that you might have. This is obviously a very basic one, but you can customize this as a, however you like. You can add new lists, and you can rearrange them like so but let's just stick it to this for now. So that's the kind of basic structure. And I think one of the easiest ways to explain this is if you think back, or if we think back to when Trello started, um, I think I'm correct in saying that one of the original ideas for Trello was to take the concept of post-it notes stuck up on a wall and put that into a more digital format. So if I open up this card, you can see I've actually attached an image. So that's something else to note. You can add attachments to, to Trello cards. Um, and if I just open this one, this is an example of what I'm talking about. So this is just a, you know, as you would find in any office, uh, post-it notes stuck up on a wall and organized in these, uh, these lists. So very similar to what I just showed you on the board, we've got the, the cards with tasks on them. And as this team are working on these these tasks, they'll move these across from left to right through these lists. And yeah, I mean, this is obviously a great way for a team that's in an office for everyone to see who's working on what and where things are in, the, in their progress. Um, and it's very visual and easy to see from a glance. So, that is the basic idea. And when you want to progress these cards through the workflow, you can simply do it just like you would with the post-it notes from by clicking and dragging, you can move these across through the lists. As you can see, when you open up a card, so if I open up, yeah, open up this one again, we can add more information. So you can think of this as if you had a post-it note, you might take and um, take it and flip it over and you can write more information on the back. So this is the same kind of thing, but quite a bit more powerful. So you can add a more detailed description of this task. You can add, I'm just going to cover the basics. There are obviously more advanced things like custom fields, but I'll leave those off. So attachments, images, files, that kind of thing. There are some limits depending on what type of plan you're on, um, but the basic plan does cover you know, fair, fair amount for each card. And you can also add comments and you can tag team members in these comments if you want them to, to be notified of, of something you want to ask them. As well as that, you'll have an activity trace so you can see who's done, who's done what and when on each card if you're helpful, if you're looking back to see what's happened. And then there's some more other essential items like due dates. So really helpful for staying on top of um, timelines and keeping things organized as and when you need them. So these can be added simply like this, as you can see. 
and you can add reminders to, and these will come through on Trello itself. Uh, they can <coughs> they can pop up uh, in your browser, or you can have them emailed to you as well. So simple as that. So that's the basic layout. Um, there's a whole host of other things you can do with Trello. This is just a very basic overview and a very simple structure that you can use. You can customize this however which way you want. And Trello has been known to be used for all sorts of projects from personal planning holidays or weddings right through to very advanced software development um, use cases or planning events um, or even just kind of general team like project management type type stuff. So speaking of teams, you can add team members to each board. So you can invite people here and then they'll be added and they can see what's going on. Uh, there are restrictions, so you can you can make boards like team visible or company wide visible or just very private. So they're just for you, just for your personal to do's, that kind of thing. If you want a bit more advanced uh, things, there's the menu here and there's a bunch of other options, but it can help you automate various actions within Trello. Um, and then there is a whole directory of power ups. These are essentially apps that you can add on to your Trello board to make it do more and greater things than it can do straight out of the box. So some examples, uh, there are some free power ups, but there's also some more premium ones that you need to pay a bit more for. Um, a free one is the calendar view. So this is, if you have anything with a due date on it, you can view it in the calendar format like this. So there, there's the card, there's the task, you can open it up again. And you can change the view and things like that. And there are other more advanced ones. Um, so you can link Slack, you can link Google Docs, you can link Dropbox, you can link all these other all these other tools and apps that you might be using. You can link them all into Trello. So you've got one like centralized place to keep all of your project items to help you, uh, yeah, make sense of everything and keep it all in the same same uh, area so you don't lose track of anything. Um, yeah, so that's kind of a few of the more advanced features. Uh, you can change the background. You can make one of the great things about Trello is it's very visual. It's very fun. You can um, add emojis. You can add stickers. You can make it look nice, make it engaging. And uh, hopefully with that, your team will be a lot more interested in using it and you'll find adoption a lot easier. So that is a basic run through of what Trello is. Um, if you have more, if you're looking for more, you're interested in knowing how to get started and how to do more advanced things, check out the other videos we have on this channel. Um, and if you have any questions or, or any requests for future videos, just uh, drop us a comment in the, in the comments below. Um, yeah, and if you've enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified as and when we roll out more advice just like this. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.